Hi everyone, my name is Tyler, and this is Aftertouch Audio. One of the biggest barriers to overcome when transitioning from a bedroom sound designer to a sound designer that puts food on the table and keeps the lights on... GET THE LIGHTS BACK ON! is having access to a large library of high quality sounds that cover a variety of project styles. As a freelance sound designer, you never know the types of projects that you will get asked to do. And having access to a library that covers all or most of the basics will allow you to not only be prepared for any project that hits your desk, but it will also allow you to take on more projects and deliver a higher quality finished product. But manually collecting a library that has all of these types of sounds can not only take years, but some sounds might actually be impossible to capture depending on where you live. I certainly have a hard time accessing elephants where I live. This is where the wonderful world of general sound effects libraries comes into play. I've been trying Boom 1 for the last four months now on a variety of projects, and I have to say it has been one of the most useful collections of sounds that I have. Boom 1 covers just about everything I need. Vehicles of the land, air, and sea. Combat sounds. Ambiences from around the world. All of the elements. One of the largest collections of animals in any single library. Doors. <laughs> Mechanical sounds. Guns. Cartoon sounds. Metal. and about another few hundred categories, most of the sounds coming with three or more variations. So what makes this library stand out is the quality of the mastering in each and every single sound. This library is massive, but it is treated with the same quality as all of their mainline libraries. Every single sound has an absurd amount of metadata, making any sound that you want to find easy. And if you don't have a sample library database manager, they've organized everything into easy to find and easy to locate folders. If you own any of Boom Library's mainline, you will be happy to know that 100% of any sounds you find in this library are unique to this library. And it comes with monthly updates if you go with their yearly subscription. Here's a link to every update they've released so far. So why choose Boom 1 and who is this library really catered towards? While I am not a fan of subscription-based models, this is an insanely affordable subscription at about $41 a month, and one sound design job should cover the yearly cost of the entire library. And owning this library not only gets you access to 95,000 plus sounds to kickstart your sound design career, but it also gives employers like myself an idea on what kind of sounds you have access to just by saying two words. Boom one. But my main reason for recommending this library is actually getting quick access to the 1,642 different ambient sounds in this library. I run a Discord channel where we have weekly challenges and we also have a peer feedback section. And one of the biggest pieces of feedback, aside from using stereo files instead of mono files, is lack of ambient based material. And it, it is um, reasonable to understand why. Most of the best ambient based libraries are very expensive and for good reason. 
So having a library like this really helps fill in the gaps of your library where it is really difficult or sometimes extremely expensive to capture. Anyways, I hope this has helped you. And if you are interested in Boom One, I've left a link in the description below. And if you like what I do and would like to support the channel, head on over to my link in the description and pick up a library or two. Most of our libraries are on intro sale at the moment. Anyways, go make some noise.